Roman Griffin here, author of Internet Dating Tips, Tricks, and Tactics. With my first YouTube video on internet dating, online dating, call it what you will. Uh, of course, we start at the beginning. This may seem too basic, but you know, a lot of times you may think you know all the basics, but, and my book has been not slammed, but criticized for being too basic. But um, I don't believe there is such a thing. I think that people overlook a lot of things. People tend to think they know it all, but they don't. I'm not saying I do know it all, but I do include things in my book and my videos that um, the normal bear doesn't think of, or the average bear doesn't think of, or bearess. Um, first thing, what you need to do is this. First of all, I'm not going to sit here it's an internet dating site that you're going to join if you haven't all, you know, already joined one. It's not internet love. It's not internet I'm going to get married in a year. Don't put the pressure on that site like that. People say, a lot of times people will ask, I get emails from people who've read the book, I haven't found love, will I find love, etc., etc. If you're in a relationship, it may lead to love. If you're dating, it may lead to a relationship. This is the first step that you're going to take. This gets you off the ground anyway. If you're in a job where you don't meet many people, you don't like going out, et cetera, et cetera, you're tired of the bar scene or you don't want to get into the bar scene or you never were into the bar scene, this is, makes total sense for you. I'm not going to sit here like all those other books and all those other authors and say, Everything is hunky-dory. It's all puffy clouds and poodles and roses and candy and wine and champagne. It's never champagne, trust me. Probably not even wine and candy either. Anyhow, um, I'm just kidding. It can lead to that. I'm not going to sit here and blow smoke up your ass and tell you that's what you're going to find. Love. You will find dates. And that is what I'm here to help you do in a more safe fashion and concise and I'm just trying to help you weed out all you know as much of the bullshit as possible your first order of business though is this even if you have already joined an internet dating site you need an email you have to create an email specifically for the just for specific use with your online dating profile now a lot of these sites will tell you that it's a double blind system. Nobody can see your email. There is a way, regardless of what they tell you about this double blind system, your original email, your email address, your regular email address can show up. Believe me when I tell you this, it can show up in an email, especially, not especially, but pretty much only. If you have it designed, your email, when you respond to an email, if you have your email set up to include the original message, when you respond back to somebody and the original message is included, sometimes, not all the time, but a lot of times, your regular email address will appear. Why, I don't know, but I do know this happens. Don't let anybody tell you different. I don't care what site you're on, they're wrong. It's not double blind. It's not blind all the time that's a case where it is blind. That's why you need to use an email specifically just for the personal. Say for instance you're on America Online. You use your main name, the name that you sign online with a lot. Eventually, say that happens with the double blind system fails, or eventually someone's going to ask you, hey, what's your regular email address? Maybe their subscription is running out and they can no longer use the internet dating service, or maybe your subscription is running out and you want to give somebody your regular email address. You don't want it to be your main name. The one that you go on you talk to your friends on, the one that you go on and, 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 and receive email from friends, etc., etc. Maybe you get junk mail on that email as well. If you make one specifically for internet dating, you'll know that number one, every email that you have in that inbox folder for that account is from the internet dating site. You're not going to delete stuff by mistake or, well, mistake or make any mistakes. Otherwise, 
that you would on your normal account. If something, if something doesn't look familiar on your regular email account, you're normally just going to delete it. At first, or even later, maybe one of these internet dating emails won't look right and you'll delete it by mistake. You might be deleting someone who is not just a potential match, but is a match and you might be deleting love. <laughs> I, I said I wouldn't use that word, didn't I? I lied. I'm a guy. It's what I do. Anyway, make an email. There's so many different ways out there. If you're on AOL, you can have like nine screen names now. Yahoo emails free, Hotmail, Gmail, whatever. Get one specifically for that. Especially if you're on AOL and you chat online a lot. I brought this up earlier. I never expanded on it, but you don't want somebody looking you up and putting you on their buddy list and sending you instant messages and pounding you with them, especially if you're not interested in that person. So please do yourself a favor, make an email separate specifically for online dating.